Hey guys, are you ready to figure out how much money Kickstarter is going to steal out of your wallet with its grubby little hands? I know I am. So let's cut the chatter and discuss the Kickstarter scene for December so we can get back to drinking more eggnog. Now before I start, I wanted to announce something really fun. Dimension Games has been kind enough to sponsor a giveaway of their brand new game, Dawn of Madness. In fact, it's not just the core game either, it's their Otherworld pledge that comes with all of those minis, and with the stretch goals now, there is a ton. So here's how to enter. First things first, subscribe with the bell icon so you get notified of my videos. That's because you'll need to leave a comment on my big upcoming 2020 Kickstarter video. I'll finalize the giveaway and pick a winner before the end of the Dawn of Madness campaign, announcing it on my YouTube community section. But that's just a few days apart, so you'll want to see it the day it's posted and also see my winner announcement. Feel free to spread their word, by the way. This is open to anyone and everyone. Okay, now for the normal video content with the games launching in December. Will December have a plethora of high-profile Kickstarters trying to take our money, or will we finally have a breather? Let's find out. First up is Reign of Nations by Absolute Dominion Entertainment on December 2nd. This is actually their second time on Kickstarter, but it's been literally years since their first attempt at funding. The time looks to have been spent to get some very professionally done art and miniature sculpting, and just overall make a better appearance. I really like how their world looks to be set up based on the map and the races, some of them are actually pretty rare to see miniature-wise, such as the amphibious race of fish people. A link to their Kickstarter is located below. Best of luck, guys. Next up is Sanctorvum. Sanc Sanctorum? Whatever. It'll be on Kickstarter December 15th. It's a very mature 2-6 to six player sci-fi co-op with lots of cool sci-fi stuff and adult themes. For my take, I really dig the overall world that they have set up here, and I love this type of sci-fi. It actually kind of reminds me of a mix between Cyberpunk and Shadowrun. That being said, having four kids makes it difficult to have anything with open nudity out front on the box and stuff, which makes me kind of cautious, so I'll have to take a look and see how that progresses. A link to their Kickstarter preview page is below. Then we have Unsettled, which looks to have a late December Kickstarter launch. But that's only me guessing. It's by Orange Nebula, who did Vindication before this. Unsettled is pitched as a cooperative sandbox survival game set in the farthest reaches of space. Between this, Sanctorum, and ISS Vanguard by Awaken Realms, there seems to be a plethora of sci-fi games in the works, which has me excited. Currently, I only own two sci-fi-themed board games, so there's plenty of room for me to expand that theme. There will be a lot more information shared this week, so click the link to their Facebook group below to check that out. Lastly, not Kickstarter related, Talisman Kingdom Hearts Edition has finally become available. I have this purchased, but it's a gift for my daughter, and me of course, so I haven't opened it yet. Expect a co-unboxing with the two of us shortly after Christmas. I'm undecided on if I want to paint the miniatures or if I should allow her to paint them. What do you guys think? I think it'd be fun for her to paint them, but she needs to definitely slow down, I think, to improve her skills some. And with that... We're set to move on to the Kickstarters that are ending this month. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? The Great Wall by Awaken Realms will be ending its Kickstarter run on December 16th. Down in the description below, you'll find a link to my review of the game as well as their Kickstarter. The other heavy hitter is Dawn of Madness by Dimension Games, which will also end its run on Kickstarter on December 16th. This is the game I'll be giving away, so be sure to check the link to their Kickstarter below to see if you're interested. And if you are interested, then be sure to pledge so if you don't win, you don't accidentally miss the campaign, and be on the lookout for my review of the game very soon. It'll be interesting, trust me. If you want to know why this review will be different from any other review I've done before, I have a behind-the-scenes post about it on my Patreon, you can check it out. Only two, but man, are they big ones. If you still have money burning a hole in your pocket, here are all of the late pledges you can still be a part of. As always, if I miss any, please feel free to share any others you know for everyone to see down in the comments below. You can still back Etherfields, Super Fantasy Brawl, Street Fighter the Miniatures Game, Sword and Sorcery Ancient Chronicles, Battletech Clan Invasion, Oko Chronicles, Chronicle X, 
I'd say Shadows of Brimstone Adventures here, but they're a crap company so I won't provide a link to their Kickstarter until they start treating their backers with some bit of respect. More on that later. Kingdom Rush, Rift in Time. Valor and Villainy. The Ever Rain. Waste Knights, 2nd Edition. Aeon Trespass Odyssey. The Isafarian Guard. Zombicide, 2nd Edition. And Oath Sworn into the Deepwood. And since Simon seems to have no intention of ever opening their pledge manager for their easiest Kickstarter setup yet, just so they can delay the delivery of that too along with most of their other outstanding Kickstarter games, you can still late pledge Time Vault as well. There's a link to all of these except Shadows of Brimstone Adventures because screw Flying Frog Productions down in the description below. Okay, so what's coming up soon? I'm actually not going to say much here as I'll have an entire video dedicated to upcoming 2020 Kickstarters here very soon. By the way, you'll definitely want to subscribe to see that as I have a ton of exclusives this year that I know you'll love to hear about. For a small tease, I'll give you one though, because tis the season and I'm feeling generous. Soon, you'll be able to back the Dark Crystal by Black Sun Miniatures. Expect amazing miniatures in that one. Finally, let's wrap things up with some news. Talos Collapse both launched and was cancelled within three days. Sadly, this was not enough time for me to work them into a video like I was planning to do with this video here. With cool looking minis and lots of card play, this seemed at least semi-interesting. They will be back on Kickstarter at some point, and hopefully at that time they will be more determined to see it through. Valor and Villainy is delayed until late first quarter, early second quarter 2020. That's still right around the corner though, so I personally don't mind the wait. Heck, I could use the break in new games. As I said before, the Aeon Trespass Odyssey Pledge Manager opened. Behind the scenes, there's been lots of development work around weapon scaling, secondary win conditions, and tons more. There are times I wish I could share some more insight into what goes into putting together a Kickstarter and actually developing a board game, especially at large scales like this. Perhaps I should do more interviews like I did with Osworn. You guys let me know what you think. Flying Frog Productions, the developers behind Shadows of Brimstone, have always been crap at communication. Once the campaign is over, you'll get an update every 1-4 to four months, or longer, and no other forms of interaction, even if delivery is a year or two late. Recently, for Forbidden Fortress, a game that was estimated to deliver in March 2018, they decided to finally charge for Wave 2 shipping. How did they decide to communicate this with their loyal and beloved backers? Well, since they haven't bothered to write an update or communicate in any way with them since July 28th, they didn't. Instead, backers were welcomed with a random email asking for money through PayPal in order to release their Wave 2 game contents. I feel this is along the lines of breaking up through text. You don't just come out of the blue with zero communication and ask for money. It's a crap move that highlights how terrible Flying Frog Productions is at communicating to their backers and shows exactly how much respect they have for them. I can't stand by and see stuff like this and still push people to back their games in good conscience. The last thing I want to do is highlight a campaign that ends up being a bad experience for any of you, and as such, I won't be posting their Kickstarters on my channel anymore until I see some change from them. If you must have their games, I suggest you buy them at retail. Your friendly local gaming store deserves your money more than these guys do. You can get it sooner that way anyway. Archon Studios finished shipping Wave 1 of Chronicle X and will be shipping Wave 2 starting in February or March. Also, they noted our complaints about the printed token quality and will be looking into improving that for Wave 2 and providing some upgrades to Wave 1. They've also shown some small teasers for their upcoming game Wolfenstein and it looks at least as good as Chronicle X, which is great. Limbo Eternal War has finalized shipping negotiations and will close the Pledge Manager on December 22nd and ship right after that for a 30-40 to 40 day travel across the ocean to the US. Shipping will be $45 for the all-in. If you haven't looked into this game yet, do so while you still can as it's one of my most anticipated games of 2020. The League of Infamy Pledge Manager will launch after Christmas, so that can be a fun way to start the new year. May as well set the standard and back a game right away. Hour of Need by Blacklist Games funded, but struggled to do so until further into the campaign. Backers got a good deal out of it, however, with enticements added to it for free. Anything good for us consumers is a good thing in my book. Arkees also successfully funded with relative ease. A lot changed in the campaign, including making a non-destructive legacy, thank god for that, and adding a traditional dungeon crawl mode for even more repeated play sessions. Backers just missed some flying scarab beetle miniatures as the final stretch goal, which is a bummer though. Titans also funded and had some really nice looking stretch goals added, including beautiful city miniatures and an undead faction. 
Clash of Rage successfully funded as well and unlocked all planned stretch goals. Unlike most other Kickstarters, there is no pledge manager for this and shipping was already paid for. In the next few weeks, a Kickstarter survey will go out where you can finalize what you are getting. Madara has stopped taking late pledges, but will be taking pre-order soon. That's it, guys. Now you know everything you need to know to round out 2019 Kickstarter-wise. Well, almost everything. As I said before, I'll be having a really big upcoming 2020 Kickstarter video coming out here in the next few weeks that you'll definitely want to check out. It's got some really big heavy hitters in there, and I'd love nothing more than let you guys know about it so that you know what to expect and can start making plans of what you will and won't back as early as possible. Besides, it takes a while to take a second mortgage out on your home. You don't want to have to scramble and do that the day of release, do you? Of course, before you do that, you'll want to subscribe for that giveaway of Dawn of Madness and because you'd love to see more content geared to making you a better and more well-informed consumer, right? All joking aside, I want to thank you all for being here and making this community so awesome. You all got me through a really rough part of my life a few months back, and I appreciate every single one of you. So often, it's hard to think of the person behind the username and realize that our interactions on the internet make a real difference, both positive and negative, with people more or less just like us on the other side of the conversation. So you guys always being so supportive, energetic, kind, and oftentimes even funny have made an impact on me and in an extremely positive way. In a time of year where many of us are giving thanks, giving gifts of appreciation, thinking of you cards, and trying to spend more family time together, I wanted to end this video on the highest note I can. Because I am thankful for you. It's not just something I say, it's not some YouTube drivel where I just want to fake care about you guys for more views and likes. The community that we've built together here, where we love games that bring us exciting moments to share with our friends and family, to express our art, and to care about how the industry treats its consumers, is a gift that will continue to give many more people to come. Keep on being the awesome person that you are. You rock, you are enough, and I'm happy to have you here.